What's up guys? We're uh, I'm gonna run to I wanna do a video basically buying the traps, showing you kind of where you can buy them. Damn, it's bumpy out here. Jesus. Uh figure I'll go pick up a trap. We'll adjust it and then and then show you what we do from there on. So you don't have to order them online if you if you need a trap right now. There's plenty of farm stores that have them. I'm about to show you that right now. So stay tuned. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so that was Orshelin's, Orshelin's Farm and Home. I'm over in Nebraska. There's also a tractor supply here in town that has traps. Um, they do not have rebar stakes, so you could use some really thick wire, or you can try to order some rebar stakes or go to Bass Pro. Bass Pro has rebar stakes, so they will work. Go there and get them if you're close to a Bass Pro or Cabela's. We got a Duke DP. 14 something for this guy and we got a duke number two we're going to i'll show you how to adjust the pan pan's pretty stiff for my liking right now and then how to adjust the, the pan for level and all that stuff so all right i just so i'm leaving the, the farm store and then i'll get back with you stay tuned all right guys i'm back in the first shed i want to basically uh, I gotta find the wire. But I wanna show you that you don't have to order a whole bunch of traps online. And actually it's fairly decent price when you when you figure like if you went to F and T for Harvester's Trading Post and got just one trap, you gotta pay for the trap plus shipping. So it's like usually nine bucks for shipping. And so you're if you're already at the farm store or if your parents are you know, you're with your parents at the farm store, just just have to see if you, hey mom, give me, can I get it one trap? And then you'll eventually have your supply will build up all through the summer if you just go and pick up a couple here and there. You don't have to drop a couple hundred bucks, like boom, now. Right now, these two traps, I don't even have to take the oil off or rat cans. Just take off these labels, find an anchoring system, and you're trapping. You don't have to worry about the oil, but I would, I usually just power wash them or I'll get a, I have a turkey pot that I need to dig out that I'll put them in and boil the oil off. But for, for this one, just this one trap, I'll just do it on the stove. One, just a pot of water and, and boil the oil off it. So nothing, nothing at all you have to do to this guy. She's ready to go. Throw some bait in there, anchor it down, and you're catching rat coon just like that. Boom, I have two traps, and all I did was stop at a farm store and I got two traps ready to, to trap. But this is the number two. You could go with a one and a half duke, but I went with the number two just because there's a chance you'll catch coyotes. Now I use I use all these on uh, trails, trail sets, and I will show you that. It's raining, but we'll go out and we'll put one in anyway, so. All right, let me get set up. Okay, so all I did, was, we'll just take off this tape here, the label. We're gonna see where it sets. And brand new traps are spicy. Yeah, I'm gonna call them spicy. Brand new trap, Jesus. I don't even know how to set. I, I, I haven't used a dogless trap in forever. Or a dog with a trap with a dog on it. <laughs> okay, there's where we're setting. So we need to adjust that pan. I'm going to show you how to do that.
So we were up, the pan was up, right? It was high. So we want to bend this guy right here forward just a little bit and a little bit will go a long ways Look at that. Now you might have to do it a few times, but I've done it a few. I've done it a few times over the years, so I know. See how flat she is? Almost perfect. Now I want to show you guys. Um, uh, sometimes you'll get a trap. You get a whole box of traps, and and this guy right here. This, these, this bar right here, this crossbar, there's a groove right here for it. And this, sometimes that is not in there. So if that's out any direction, it'll be really hard for you to get this trap set. Because see, there's only so much room right here. It's only so much room. So if that bar's out, that jaw won't come all the way down. And sometimes it just, it just like takes nothing to pop it back down in that groove. So just check that if you're having trouble setting one. All right, I gotta show you guys. Okay, so let's see. Section 8 Outdoors, he's a YouTuber. He's having trouble, I think it's a bridger. He's having trouble getting the dog over the trap because there's, you know, that gap. So he's either got that, get make sure that bar is in there or he needs to bend this right here up. So he has more room here. So it doesn't take as much to get that over the top. If you bend this forward just a little, this whole piece right here, just bend it straight up. It will it will make it so that you don't you can have more room here between the the jaw and the dog. So other than that, we will set up the fan tension. So, right now, the pan is stiff. See, it stays up. I would say we're probably, we're probably in the three, three pound range, I would say. But for my coon, and everyone's different, for my coon traps, I like to go zero tension. There's like nothing there. All you do is this screw right here. You put your wrench on this other side here. Either loosen it a little bit for no tension or to loosen the tension or tighten it to make it so that the pan's harder to go down. There's a lot of coyote kind of trappers want like a four pound pan and they say that, that that is so you don't necessarily get all the possums but I'm trying to save turkeys so I want to, I want to get them possums out too. So, all right, that's uh pretty straightforward. Right, you're ready to go. You get the oil off with some hot water, and then you're ready to go. You need an anchor system. I will grab a couple rebar stakes. Like I say, this guy's ready to go. You just set it and and, and go. I got a couple of rebar stakes and we'll go out here and stick them in the ground and then I'll just let them, I'll let this guy get uh, cleaned up by the rain. So stay tuned. I got, I do have a trail here, but it's kind of hard to make out. I don't think I got any better trail. Oh, right here. All right, here we go. Here's the trail. So we got a trail here. You can see it right here. It runs straight up this way, right here. What I like to do is right on the trail, I come in here, I'm gonna get out of the freaking water, Jesus. 
right where my trail is you can see the trails right here and I already kind of this is almost perfect I got I already kind of got a step right here so I will take this we're not trying to destroy the area look at that boom trap bed look how look how quick that was simple trap bed you can take some some of this and scatter it right there and it's still blended in very simple and it's one of my favorite set because you never know what you're gonna get bobcat whatever coming along and come on now I will take this trap I like to have my jaws I like to have my trap about like this. I could have made the bed just a little bit bigger. But the key to this is, well, I, Jesus. I don't want to have to, I did not know the ground was gonna be this hard here. There we go. All right, for demonstration purposes. <laughs> We're just putting that in that far. I'm gonna make my bed just a little bigger. I'm used to a one and a half, so. Okay, locker in there. I usually take this, fluff it up like this. A lot of times my, my traps are already brown. Where is my pan cover I just grabbed? Well, son of a beehive. Here it is. A lot of times my tra my traps are already rusty looking, so they're they blend in, so I don't even cover this trap at all. And I catch tons of raccoons, bobcats, mink, everything. But for the new guys just starting out. You pan cover of choice on there and then you would just sift that and you're good to go a lot of people want their traps hidden that silver trapping would would still catch because at night they're coming down they're just walking down they're coming down they automatically just step down onto your trap your pans right there even going up a lot of times you'll they'll go up and you'll get their back foot it's my favorite set of all time caught a lot of otters a lot of beavers in blind sets, tons of bobcats. Just gotta be on a trail though. You can't just put a random trap over here and just see what happens. It's gotta be on a good trail. My DPs, same thing. I would just put it right here. So it's in the middle of that trail. Obviously not next to that trap. Pretend that trap's not there anymore. I would want it right down here on the flattest part, right in the center so that they bump it with their nose coming down and put the bait and lure of your choice on there and stake it down cable cable to a tree or whatever you got to do pretty uh pretty slick really basically if it was trapping season i would have two sets out like it was nothing i just ran to the store i didn't have to pay shipping i was already going to town so you don't have to have expensive traps. It is basically targeting newer, newer trappers. Like if you seen me trap or, or anybody trap and you're like, I'm going to try that. Go get you some dog proofs. Start off with dog proofs. This was 14 something. One, one trap in a trail and you got a coon. You find a coon where the coon are along a, a pond or something, you're golden. But then when you, you start going up, you find what you're gonna have to find ways to dye your traps for coyotes and and different anchors and there's all different stuff. That's why it's like we're gonna start small, just get into the coon, 
with that step down set you're gonna get your, you might have a chance at a lot of other uh, critters so that's where I would start right there some dog proofs and a few footholds on blind sets or pocket sets is awesome and I'll show pocket sets here this soon as season opens up all right if you're under 16 I'm gonna give you these traps with two rebar stakes um, I don't know how I'm gonna know if you're under 16 but I want to give them to a couple kids that are just starting out so comment done down below if you're interested in the traps and we'll give them away in a live stream uh, I want to thank everybody that's bought my baits and lures if you don't know I got an assortment of baits and lures now on my website I will put the description down below I usually don't promote my own stuff very well so if you those of you that have ordered I've sold quite a bit and I appreciate it it's helping me do stuff like this let's go and buy some traps and we're gonna give them away so obviously it's cheaper if you order a whole bunch of traps but you don't have to you can just get a few here and a few there so I uh, had some fun I got 20 gallons of bait mixed up and ready to be put in containers <laughs> I got I got all of those traps and about this many canine traps I gotta I gotta get ready so I got this weekend I gotta get some stuff done all of these containers are gonna get filled up this weekend with bait <sighs> yeah I'm, it's getting busy so trapping's coming guys I'm, I'm excited I just got a drone which is awesome I have not flown it yet I'm charging the batteries I want to have some drone footage in there. I just bought a pretty awesome camera for the for the stuff. So, like all the lure and bait purchases helped me get my drone, and they helped me get the new camera. So, I appreciate it, guys. And hopefully, it blows up from here. But it's gonna be weird with a regular camera and all my GoPros. So we'll see how it goes. I figure that the new camera will be able to zoom in. We can use it for duck hunting and all that. So. I know there was a lot more stuff I wanted to cover, but I kind of spaced off. Uh, um, the biggest thing when you get your new traps is figuring out how you're going to anchor them. I myself don't prefer, I don't prefer wire. I do have some wire that's like really thick, but I'm not exactly sure where it is right now. Okay, here it is right here. Hang on. This wire right here is very thick. That would definitely hold raccoons. You could tie that dog proof around a tree. That's, it would have to be really thick wire in order for me to use wire. I have used wire in the past, but there's a chance that you're gonna lose your trap and traps aren't expensive and they're not gonna get any cheaper, so. Really thick wire, cable, or rebar. I'm sure you can go to any welding store and say, hey, can you make me a couple rebar stakes? And I'm sure that they will give you a pretty good deal on it. It's just a washer and a two foot piece of rebar. So, all right, like I say, check out Cabela's. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I just want you guys to be able to get traps without having to worry about it. You can just go to Cabela's, go to Bass Pro, go to any farm store, order online at Funky Trap Tags anywhere. I got all kinds of, all kinds of places you can go. Blakely's, there's just, F, F and T and I'm just rambling on there's so many stores you just punch in trapping supplies on the website and you can go anywhere but this video was based for people that for young kids that going to get feed for chickens or whatever right there's the traps get a few catch the raccoons that are trying to kill your chickens stuff like that so all right guys appreciate you watching the video stay tuned for more